All right, let's do some more Venn diagram practice. So hopefully you guys have watched the video that told you the instructions on how to do this. Hopefully you've seen the other video. I broke, I did two videos, one of doing the doubles and one of doing the triples. Um, and now I'm just going to do this video, just going to do the whole page. What I want you to do is I want you to copy down these circles, copy down the, um, hmm, what do you call those things? Uh, copy down the things that I want you to shade. Uh, and then I want you to shade them. So pause the video, do the page, and then follow along. All right, here goes. You've done it already? Good. Let's zoom this back in. Oh, it doesn't allow me to zoom while I'm videoing. Okay, well, I won't zoom in then. So A intersect with B. Remember, when I do intersections of doubles, I just read them. It is inside of A and inside of B. So what is inside of A and inside of B? just this. This is the only section that is inside of A and B at the same time. Remember that and means both at the same time. Now, this is a union question. Unions are easy. I just do A or outside of B. So inside of A, so I'm going to accept everything inside of A, or outside of B. So I'm also going to accept everything outside of B. So I shade everything inside of A shade everything outside of B, and I'm accepting both. So that's how you do a union. Remember that union is just shade more. So I shade that, shade that, boom, done. Next one, intersection. Okay, so this one I'm gonna read. Now you could do the hatch method. I showed you that on one, but I don't do the hatch method because it takes too long. So I just read it out. Outside of A and outside of B. So which of these sections are outside of A and outside of B? Well. That's not outside of A and that's not outside of B. That's not outside of either. So the only section that's outside of A and outside of B is out here. That's the only section that is outside of A and outside of B at the same time. And clean up that mess. Okay. Uh, outside of A and inside of B. Okay, Mr. this one's a little bit smaller. To the Mr. Coulson to the library. Outside of A and inside of B. So this is inside of B, and it's got to be outside of A, so it's just this section. So this is the section that is outside of this A circle, but still inside of the B circle, so I shade that. Done. Okay. Let's get on to some triples. This is where things get tougher. So I always start by doing these two first, inside A and inside B. That's your cat's eye. You should know the intersection of AB is in here. It's important to know. And then I union with C. Unions are easy. I just shade more. So I take what's shaded, and then I shade all of C. So remember, whenever you've got a union for C, whenever I union C or union not C, you just shade. Bam, done, easy, because it's a union. All right, good, this one's going to be union C too, so it should also be easy. So start with doing the double outside of A or inside of B. Okay, remember that this is an or question, so it means that I just do outside of A, shade that whole thing. Boy, I'm going through a lot of lead here. So, everybody cool with that? That is outside of A. Now I union with B, so now I shade inside of B. It's a union, so I just shade both and keep them both. Shade them both, keep them both. That is there, and now I union that with C. So now it's shaded, or it could also be C, so now I just shade C as well. I didn't have to erase anything, because it was all unions. That's what it ends up as. Okay. So those two dealt with unioning C, which is easy. I just do that and then shade in C, do that, shade in C. Now, intersecting with C is going to be a little bit different. First of all, A naught intersecting with B is inside of A. No, no, it's not. It's, it's not A. Outside of A, 
inside of B. So outside of A, inside of B is over here. This is outside of A and inside of B. While I'm doing this shading, I'm ignoring circle C. Because I haven't, well, I don't want to pay attention to it yet. So I'm just dealing with A and B. So this is the section that is inside of B, outside of A, or outside A, inside B. Uh, now, the intersection with C means that it has to be shaded already, which is what I just did. So it's shaded and inside of C. So what's shaded and inside of C? Well, there's circle C, so only this bit's inside, so the rest is getting erased. So I am erasing because of the intersection. So when I intersect with C, I usually have to do some erasing of what's shaded. Okay, next one. A, intersect with B. Well, I know that one, it's cat's eye. So this is where it's inside of A and inside of B. I'm ignoring circle C until now. Now I do what is shaded and outside of C. So it's shaded already and outside of C. What's shaded already and outside of C? Well, just that is. So just that stays. OK, so done a bunch of practice. Hopefully you can do it. Um, yeah, go over them. Remember, go through these videos, do the questions first, shade them first, and then watch the video to check to see you're correct. If you need another one, I'll do another one, but I hope you don't.